What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we're in a new spot, and that is because I moved stuff around in my room so I could have a bigger desk, which is actually what you guys are sitting on right now, but there's going to be a dedicated video about that coming soon, so subscribe so you guys can see that. Uh, but this video is all about the WoWGo 3, and we just recently hit 1,000 miles on it and are now over 1,100, which is insane. I think we've only had this board for just under a year, like... I think we'll hit a year in like a week and a half or something crazy like that. So this video is going to be all about that, so let's get started. So first we're going to start with the problems, and there was really only one, and that was that the battery came loose in the enclosure, but that was probably because we ride on a wooden bridge all the time and it's really bumpy and not very forgiving. But we fixed that problem with a piece of foam to dampen the vibrations. We also have not replaced the wheels or motor sleeves, but they honestly don't look that bad seeing as the board has had a hard life riding on that bridge and very bumpy roads as well. Okay, now on to all the good things that we've come to love about this board, and the first one is that right out of the box, it worked. And it might sound weird that that is something I'm going to mention, but our other electric skateboard we have, the X-Way X1 Pro Riot, my board, did not work right out of the box when we got it. But back to the wild guys. The other things we love about this board is that it doesn't cost way too much. The price has actually dropped since we got ours, and it's now only $500 for the 6 amp hour version, which is what we have, and it's $600 for the 8 amp hour version, which is crazy because it has everything a super high-end board would have, and it's like half the price. And that is why it's commonly called the boosted killer, and well, I guess that's right, seeing as boosted isn't even really a company anymore. And with all that being said, in my opinion, the WoWGo 3 is the best beginner board for someone who wants to get started in electric skateboarding. Okay, now let's talk about top speed and mileage we are getting on this board after all these miles. We're getting a top speed of about 21 miles an hour and knew it would get about 24, so that's a three mile an hour difference, which in my opinion isn't that bad. For mileage, we are now getting a range of about 5 miles, and that is going full speed all the time and almost never letting off the throttle. Okay, so now my final opinion on this board, and that is that it is a great board and amazing for those of you who want to get started in the amazing sport that is electric skating. I hope this video was informational for those of you who are looking into buying this board. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs> 